Oh, this video is going to be painful, I can tell. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, as you can tell by the video, the title, <laughs> this is not going to be a fun video for me to talk about. But in this video, I'm going to talk about what happened to my dog. So, as some of you may know, I had a beautiful marama or an Italian sheepdog. Her name was Trigo. There's a bunch of videos of her on the YouTube channel. Um, and she was in some vlogs, stuff like that. But she hasn't been in my life uh, for a bit because um, I had to give her away. I had my dog for three years. Um, oh god, this is difficult. <laughs> I had my dog, her name was Trico. I had her for three years. And throughout that whole three years, we were fighting legal battles with our council because our neighbors decided to count every single time she ever barked and lie about the times that she barked and would tell the council and the council never believed us it got to a point where we booked a behavioral specialist a, a therapist we had her on anxiety medication she had to take like eight tablets of two different types all in one day and it was just killing all of us both financially and it was killing she was just drowsy and it hurt to see her like that it hurt me to see her like that so I had to make one of the hardest decisions I think I'll ever make in my life um, and I decided to give her away before the council made me do it because they I basically said that if we don't sort out her issues, she would have to be taken and killed. And I didn't want that happening to her. So I contacted a bunch of my friends, see if any of them knew people who lived on farms or big areas or just had other dogs that would be willing to take her and none of them really answered or wanted to help out. And I cried about this on so many occasions. It, it generally felt like I'd failed as a mum. And it, it broke me inside. I just wasn't good enough for her. <laughs> um, which makes me scared to get any pet. Because... <sighs> Trigo was a special case. She... So most dogs if they're in a litter will have anxiety not only should she have anxiety but she had separation anxiety as well because they took her away from her mum way too young you're supposed to keep them I think for a minimum of like two months and I got her when she was just under a month I remember she was like this big I remember crying it was the first dog I ever had I just cried oh god <clears throat> I have pictures of her like over here because I only took a couple. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I managed to... I was chatting to one of my cousins about it. And she knew someone who owned another Marimar and lived on a massive farm not far from us. And so we got into chatting and they came to have a look at her. Just to see, you know, how she was and all of this stuff. And... They took her for a puppy play date or a puppy sleepover to see if it would interact well with the other dog and it interacted incredibly well. Um, they got along really well. So they kind of just decided to keep her and that was it. I never got to say goodbye. I didn't get to give her any of her toys or any of her stuff. Um, I still have it all in the house somewhere and I sent them a message being like hey can I like give her her toys or come say goodbye and they were like oh, not really but I do get update photos from them which was good over the first like month that they did this I would tear up so much because she looks so much happier without me and it just hurts that I 
I know it's better for her. But it just kind of reminded me of how I failed. The most important thing in my life. I tend to fail a lot of things at the three year mark. But for her, she was my biggest regret in just everything. But I just thought I'd give an update for the people who knew of Trigo because you guys helped me name her, this community. You guys got to see videos of her, everything, and she's not in my life anymore. Which hurts a lot. Um, I think it hurts as well when I forget I even owned a dog. That's when it kills me. But she's in a happier place. She's running around on so many acres, I don't even remember. Um, do it, let me have a look. <laughs> Sorry. Um, ten acres. They have ten acres of land, which is awesome. Lots of chickens and goats, and she met a cow for the first time. She went to the beach for the first time. She she's with a bunch of kids and she's playing around and she's even lost a couple of kilos and she's just genuinely so happy and I think it hurts that she's obviously happy without me but I'd rather her be happy than be depressed and filled with drugs at home because at this house, she doesn't have to take any medication. And the reason why she took anxiety medication is because she lived in a suburb area. And while she had heaps of area to run around, the neighbours, because we live in like a military sub area, the neighbours would be up at all hours and would make lots of noise. And she could see some of the neighbours and would freak out by the noise and things like that. And so it just drove her spare. And we tried for three years and we just... We couldn't. So, she was taken. I don't even remember when. Um, not too long ago. So she was taken September 14th. Or around that area. So she's been gone for just almost two months now. I couldn't make this video any closer because it pained me. And there's so much happening in my life. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to give a small update video because I feel like I failed a lot of you. You guys gave her her middle names, you were got to see when I got her, just everything. This channel is a documentation of my life and it sucks just to know that I have to put this up and it sucks that I failed. So, yeah, so I'm going to end this video here, I'm sorry it was kind of depressing and sad, but just, just know she's in a much better place, she's happier, she's healthier, she's better off without me. So I'm going to end this video here, thank you all so much for watching, if you want to see other videos where Chica was in, you can click on those in just a second.